Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Nako bracelet and this was designed by Sum Sum Looms on Instagram. I hope I pronounced that right, um, but if not I do apologize. Um, this is her first original design and it's really nice, so I'm really glad I got to do a tutorial for it. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is the front side and then if you turn it over, this is the back side. And I'm going to bring up her profile here in just a second. Alright, so here it is. It is Sum Sum Loose, spelled like this, like I, or I will have her name in the description box below. And this is her account, so if you like it, make sure to check it out and like her photos and give her a follow for me. And this is what her design looks like. You can't really see it on camera, but that's what it looks like. Um, and I do have a crack in my phone, so that's probably what you're seeing. Um, but anyway, we will go ahead and get started. So what you're going to want today is a hook. I'm going to use um, my crochet hook, but you really don't need a double-ended one. You only need one side. Um, you're also going to want a pre-made single chain, so I already made my little section. You're also going to want a couple of extra C-clips, maybe, to hold your bands, um, or a couple of big ones. And you're also going to want some bands. So this red uh, gemstones chain is what I used in the center of this bracelet. And we'll go ahead and get started. And the next thing that we're going to add is this electric glow blue um, right next to it. So if you haven't made your chain, go ahead and do that now and we'll we'll start making it. So first thing you're going to do is make sure that the cap band is kind of a line towards you, not the open side or the O. It's a line. You're going to stick your hook through the side of this first single chain band and grab <clears throat> one of these cap band loops. So you go through the side you're going to grab one of those cap band loops and then you're going to pull the single chain over your hook so it's just that one loop right there. Then you're going to take a black band, whatever you're using for that next color. You're going to pull that through just the first band, the only band on your hook. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this first loop, cross it over the second, and then take this new first loop and the second loop off of the hook hold on to this one and then just put it back on. So that's what it should look like. Now you're going to go up into the next single chain and grab this band here. While you do this make sure that none of your bands in the middle cross. You're going to take a black band, pull it through both loops on your hook. From now on we'll be pulling it through two loops. Then you're going to take this first band, cross it over the second, take this new first band, hold on to it and pull it off of the hook along with the second band and put that one you were holding right back on. So you're pretty much just pushing this band over the other end. It would be like an inverse slip knot kind of. Um, so if you want to slide it down or turn it around to slide it off like a slip knot you could but I just find it more efficient to do it this way. I'm going to grab that next single chain, pull the black through Cross the first over the second and take both off your hook and reattach that one you were holding. Go up, through the bleh, go up through the next chain, pull your bands through, cross and release. So you're just going to continue doing this until you reach the top of your single chain and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. I still have a couple more stitches to do, so when I get there, I'll show you what it looks like. Hopefully you have the hang of it now. Okay, so I am at my second to last, um, I guess single chain loop here. So you're going to go inside of this one with the C clip and you're going to grab that last band there. Take a black band and pull it through just like we've been doing all the way up the hook or all the way up the chain, sorry. And we're not going to grab any of these bands that are inside the C clip. So once you have this black band you can either attach another C clip to it or just put it inside of your single chain one. I'm just going to put it inside of my single chain clip if I can get it. 
Alright, so this is what it should look like. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, so go ahead and turn this over. You don't have to like work backwards for this part, but we will have to do that eventually. And don't worry with fiddling with these bands, we'll fix them in a minute. But now what we're going to do is go through the other side, and make sure that the cap band loop you're grabbing is not the same loop over here, like it didn't get twisted or anything. Make sure you are grabbing the other one. Then, pull the black band through, cross that band over, pull it off, go up into your next chain, make sure you're not skipping any, pull the band through the first two, they're the only two on your hook, cross, pull off, reattach. So we're just doing the same thing that we did on the other side making sure that you grab each and every single chain band and then just repeating this process with the black band. So I'll continue doing this up until I get to the top and then I'll show you what the next step is going to look like. So I've gotten up to the top here. Again, we're not going to grab any of the last single chain bands. And now what I'm going to do is just put this black band inside of my single chain band if I can get it. Or inside of my single chain clip, sorry. So it should look like this. Now what we're going to do is add the next kind of borders, which are going to be the pattern ones out here. And I'm going to be using the gemstones red again. And what you're going to do is just go through one of the sides, grab one of your gemstone bands, pull it through that just that one band. And this time you are actually going to do a slip knot stitch. So take the second band, move it over the first and over the end of the hook, so it'll look like that. Then you're going to go up to the next black band, it should be these little uh, horizontal ones. Just stick your hook through, grab your gemstones band, pull that through both bands on your hook, then slip knot it, go up to the next one. Make sure you're only grabbing that um, one horizontal band. Pull a band through both of those loops, slip knot, go up to the next one band through both those loops and slip knot and just continue doing this until you reach the top oops I accidentally grabbed more than one band there Okay, so I've come to the end, pulling it through my last band here, and slip knotting it. Now what you can do is you can take, here, let me look just a second how I did this before. Okay, so what you can do is you can take all four of these bands that are inside of the C-clip along with this one that you just have on your hook. And you can um, detach the C-clip from all of those, which can be a little bit tricky, but there we go. So once you detach that, what you can do is take a closure band, which isn't going to be the last one, but um, you're going to pull this through all five of those loops on your hook, and then reattach the C-clip. If I can get both loops in there, there we go. And we'll do the slip knot stitch on the other side. So just the same thing, 
grab that only grab only that horizontal band and take your red band pull it through and oops and slip knot it go up to the next one pull a band through both loops and slip knot it again just continuing this process all the way down it's a fairly simple process so hopefully you have the hang of it And as you're going, probably try not to twist these um, black bands because I'm pretty sure they're harder to untwist when you're done the bracelet versus now when you can just quickly adjust them. But anyway, I'm at the top stitch here. I'm trying to pull this band through, it doesn't want to go. Alright, so now I have all of that. And now, just like the other side, I'm going to put this. Uh, slip knot band into this red band here, so I'm going to take part of that off of the C clip, pull this band over and into this band here. Then I'm going to go ahead and reclip this, and you should have this. This is what your bracelet should look like so far. And now we're going to add the last step, which is the black Persian single chain here. Oops, or not single chain, fishtail, sorry. Alright, so this is the part where you kind of have to work backwards and forwards. So on one side you can work forwards, on the other side you have to work backward. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do is work forward first. So just choose whichever side you want, it doesn't really matter. You're going to take your hook and go through the back of these bands, you're going to grab both of these um, little loops here on the sides. This first one should be pretty easy to find. You're going to grab this one and this one, put it on your hook, looks like that. Take your border color, I'm going to use clear, pull this through both of those loops, and close. Make sure your bands don't get twisted. Then, you're going to go like from here, you're going to go all the way around the back, stick your hook through here and here, put that on your hook, take your clear band through all four loops, oops, but before you close, you're going to want to lift this one that's closest to your hook and reattach. And this first one is going to look a little bit weird, but as we continue it'll get better. Then from here you're going to go again around the back and through here and here. Then take a clear band through all of those loops. Clear is probably not the best choice for this because it's super duper sticky so I'm actually gonna undo this and just use black. Okay, let's try this again. Going through both of those loops. Use black this time. Pull that through both of those. And again go around the back, grab both of these loops, take a black through all four loops and lift this one closest to your hook. Then go around the back, grab those two loops, and from now on it'll be through all five loops. So through all five loops and lift that one closest to your hook. Around the back, grab both of those loops. Black band through everything. Oops, I accidentally just lost that band. It's really hard to see on camera. And pull a black through 
those five and lift the one closest to your hook. Go around the back. Around the back. You're just going to continue doing this all the way up uh, your bracelet. So I'm at my last stitch here. You're going to go through those two loops. Take a band through those last five and lift the one closest to your hook. So now you should have three loops on your hook. And I'm actually going to take another C-clip and just clip together these three bands. And then I will show you what to do at the end, how to combine them all together. But this is what one of your sides is going to look like. And then to do the other side, we actually have to flip it around so that the C-clips are closest to you, I guess. What you're going to do is go through here and go through the back. Grab your band, pull it through those two loops. Then go around the back and through those two loops. Pull a band through all four. Lift this one closest to your hook. Around the back. Grab those two loops. Pull a band through all five. And lift that one closest to you, or closest to your hook. Again, go around the back. Grab those two bands. Two loops are part of the same band. Pull this through all five and lift that one closest to your hook kind of off camera there but go around the back and just continue repeating the same process all the way up to the end of your bracelet just like we did on the other side and you'll know you're doing it right if it starts to look like this the same way it looks on the other side So I'm up to my last uh, band here. I just finished that. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to C-clip this. I'm just going to attach both of these red loops. Take the C-clip off. And then I'm going to attach all three of these black loops. Just make sure to do that carefully so you don't lose anything. Take that C-clip off. Now I have eight loops on my hook. And what I'm going to do is just take one last band through all eight. If you want, you can do this a little bit differently, but this is just kind of a quick way to close it. So, one band through all eight. And then just reattach your clip. And it should look something like this. You can always fiddle with the bracelet if you want, like if these ones are kind of overlapping and you want them to look different, you can mess with that, or if your border bands are twisted like mine are, you can fix that. Um, but that's all I'm going to do for this tutorial, so thank you for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have Sum Sum Loom's name in the description box below. Make sure to check her out on Instagram, give her a follow for me, but that is going to do it for this video, and I hope to see you next time.